All right. Everything you're about to see is unscripted and real. I need business partners. I left my job in corporate America when I was 27 years old. At the age of 37, I sold that company and became a multimillionaire. Did this all after I gave myself a 2,000% raise, leaving corporate America behind. I made myself rich instead of other people. That's what I talk about on Instagram all the time. But now here I am with all this life in front of me, and I don't got any money coming in. I just got this pile of money. Yeah, I'm in some venture deals like... Hey, Discord, I'm an early investor in Discord. Threw some money into the Newport Beach Marriott. I got some cool shit out there. But what I'd really like to have is some cash flowing opportunities. If I told you my only cash flowing opportunity that I have right now that's successful is a bar I invested in before I was even rich, the Old Crow Smokehouse in Wrigleyville, Chicago, you'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's mailbox money. How about I find some business partners to bring me some more mailbox money? Okay, now here's what I'm looking for. I was vague about it when I put the fucking uh, ad in, very vague. I didn't say what I'm looking for exactly. I just said I'm looking for business partners. You guys all submitted applications. You got over a hundred of them, all right? I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna watch me review these for the first time. Any of you guys that are coming at me just for capital, just for money, I'm gonna treat you like a girl, a girl gold digger. I won't date you, okay? I want you to come at me, not just for the capital, but also for the business acumen, maybe my network, maybe my expertise and other shit I can bring to the table. I didn't tell you that though. You as the audience knows. Let's see what happens. Got a production company and we are ready to go. big job in my twenties to become an entrepreneur. Everyone said I would fail, but I got winner in my core. So my company need a private equity and the money poured. I got millions times galore. Not bad for a kid from Schomburg, right? 2,000 percent raise, 2,000 percent raise, 2,000 percent raise, 2,000. Self-made, ball and filthy pay. Gave myself a raise, left the naysayers amazed. When I went up, 2,000 percent, 2,000 percent raise, 2,000 percent raise, 2,000. All right, you guys are gonna see this just like me for the first time right now, and I'm gonna go in order. I'm not, I haven't looked at them yet. This is us doing it together, and I'll give you my real reactions here. The first one out of the gates is a guy named Mike Cavanaugh, and I'm pretty pumped up because guys like Mike Cavanaugh have had success in business. I know who he is. Um, everyone that's submitted follows me on Instagram, so some of the people are engaged with what I'm doing with 2,000% raise already. They've come to events. Mike, for instance, has come to my Burr Ridge uh, event at Capri. And uh, I know he's had success in business, so I'm really curious to see what he's presenting. Hopefully you're not just trying to get money out of me, Mike. Don't disappoint, Mike. We're gonna go right in order. Let's see what you got, buddy. Good afternoon, my name is Mike Cavanaugh, and I am reaching out to 2000% Rays and John Sarasani to present an idea uh, of a company called Sete. Um, my holding company is Regiment, and Sete is an accelerator and infinity group that accelerates growth for startup founders. Uh, similar to like the model of Techstars, uh, the twist being we partner with university alums to help support the founders um, in, in the incubator slash accelerator. Um, our first affinity group is going to be with University of Wisconsin alumni. Uh, we have a relationship with Northwestern as well. Knowing John went to Northwestern, we thought it would be a great uh, partnership with your business experience, your mentorship, um, and the fact that you're a Northwestern alum, uh, we thought it made sense. So loving the Instagram posts and uh, hopefully you see this video. Thank you, bye. So it's clear to me here that this is probably one of many things that Mike has his hands in. Um, doesn't surprise me that he's trying to do something like this. I've you know, as a venture capitalist myself, I put money into early stage uh, ventures. 95% of these things go to zero or just go out of business. Um, I've teamed up with Techstars. I've, I've put money into people that have, have been backed by Techstars. So I can see where he's going with this. Um, my biggest concern with this, Mike, is that it could be much ado about nothing. No matter how great of everything looks, no matter, you know, it ends up being a lot of work for, for, for a little, little return. Um, and I'm also gonna imagine that Mike is looking for me to put capital into these, offer my expertise to these people as mentorship, but also put capital in. 
and I, I, I have enough money out there early stage stuff. So, so I doubt I'm going to do this, but I might, I might mu invite Mike to come in in person um, just to hear him out on what he's trying to do. But my, my initial reaction is it's going to require me to put capital in early stage ventures. I'm in enough of them right now, and 99% of them go to like that, including ones that are with Techstars, as a matter of fact. So let's see what else we got. I'm putting Mike as a, a big fat maybe to get invited in. My goal here, guys, is to, guys, is to find about 15 to 20 people to bring in to get further clarification. So we shall see on that one, Mike. All right, this next one's uh, a little, little bit different than the other one we saw. They're, they're both named Mike, but it's a little different. Mike, Mike Z, auto body and mechanic shop. Now, I've met Mike in person. He's from Norwich, Illinois. I uh, just met through Instagram, of course, like everybody else on here. But uh, let, let, let's see what he has to say. I'm pretty interested in this. I know he owns a body shop, but let's see what he has to say. <laughs> I always love it when the videos are in the, per the, per in the car with the person driving. <laughs> hey, what's up, John? My name is Mike Zagula. We met briefly at the uh, Thursday event at, in uh, Burr Ridge. Um, so essentially, I'm in the auto body uh, business uh, specializing in collision repair. Uh, I'm a shop manager in Displains at a shop called Derek's Auto Body. I'm the shop manager, I'm the accountant, I'm the parts guy. I negotiate with the insurance companies. I deal with insurance companies. Uh, I'm a salesperson, so I sell jobs. I do the estimates and I do literally everything that, you know, that's needed to be done at the shop. Um, I'm looking to expand. I'm looking to get my own shit. I'm, I know what the fuck needs to be done. You could look it up on all the reviews, Google reviews, Derek's Auto Body, I'm all in there. Uh, Yelp reviews, I'm all in there. Um, I've been in the business 10 years, I know what the fuck I'm doing and I'm ready to take the next step. <laughs> Let's fucking go, bro. Let's fucking go, bro. <laughs> uh, so this is awesome. I, I, this guy's fucking great, he's committed. I gotta tell you though, it, it's unclear. He just listed everything he did at the place, but he didn't say if he actually owns the place. It kinda sounds to me, like he's running somebody else's place right now and wants to go out on, on his own. That's what it sounds like. Um, if he already owns the place and is looking to expand by me coming in, that's a very different conversation than him quitting his W-2 job and me backing him to go buy a place. They're two very, very different conversations. Um, but I'm interested, this guy's a good guy and this is the kind of, this is the kind of business that would potentially bring money in on a monthly basis uh, from a cash flow mailbox money, really, if you will. And it's also something I think I could help the guy on. You know, a, a business like that, shit, I could promote it on Instagram, I could use my network, lots of reasons here why, why this might be a good partnership. Uh, with, with, with one being that if I have to give him half a million dollars to go buy his own shop, maybe uh, I don't fucking know if it's gonna work, but I think we bring him in to have this discussion. All right, next is Nicholas Wazolowix out of Chicago. Uh, you know, the industry's insurance, and uh, you know what? It looks like he's in that employee benefits space, which is interesting. Let's see what he has to say, because this motherfucker right here came from the employee benefits space, if you didn't know. That's where I made all my damn money. Let's see what you got here. All right, Nick, what you got, pal? I, I do not know Nick personally, I don't think at least. Hey there, my name is Nick Westlowick. I'm a 23 year old from the Chicagoland suburbs. I grew up in Lake County, graduated from University of Illinois Chicago last May with a finance degree. Uh, I believe I should be a candidate to work with uh, John because I'm just a, a young and hungry individual out here trying to make it in this tough world. Um, and I am getting into the uh, insurance industry, specifically in the employee benefit space. Um, and I believe that if I were to work with John, I would really be able to uh, fast track my progress and success with, uh, within this industry. And uh, I really just have nothing to lose. I you know, would give my all uh, with whatever plan John and I had, um, and I'm just ready to go balls to the wall if I had the opportunity to work with John. All right, and that's awesome, Nick. I, I, I gotta tell you, if, if you're presenting a business partnership with someone, it needs to be a two-way two street. Nick really highlighted there everything on, you know, what he would benefit out of working with me. Um, he didn't really get into why I would benefit from working with him. Um, other than his pedigree, you know, he said he's a hard-working 23-year-old, which is good, but you know, let me also kind of look at what else he wrote here. 
He said he wants, he said he's partnered with an insurance broker who has a very lucrative, no net cost section 125 cafeteria plan, cafeteria plan. Also partnered with an accounting firm that is helping 1099 individuals for a tax credit on the IRS. Um, so this is kind of usually when I hear stuff like that. He, said, he admits that he's 23, he admits he just graduated last May. He doesn't really know what he doesn't know yet, okay? And working with me, yeah, I have this energy and I, I know more about benefits as much as anyone else does. That's what all my money came from. I would probably not be the guy for Nick simply because he doesn't have enough paid training yet. He needs to be out there in the industry learning from other people. You're not gonna learn that shit hanging out with me all day watching me count my fucking money, okay? He needs to already know this shit, then come to me and now let's build. But Nick, I appreciate you, man, and uh, best of luck, buddy. All right, who do we got next here? Yasir Mohammed. Let's see, Yasir, what you got, pal? He already sourced exotic snacks with very good pricing and he's ready to make profits of 150 to 400%. Brianna, my, my production assistant, put in the notes. And let's see what his video says. Did he not submit a video? Oh, he didn't submit a video. Sure. All right, buddy. It's going to be kind of tough to do this, pal, with no video. Although I remember him messaging me on Instagram. Good guy. But I don't know anything about exotic snacks there, buddy. I don't know. What is an exotic snack, by the way? What, like, what exactly makes an exotic snack? I mean, like, I'm thinking of, like... The frickin' sex oil machines in the bar bathroom, like the vending machine. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what else we got here. All right, Cody Grandadam. Products are sold through two of my brands, Lightsall and Kodiak, to more than 100,000 retail locations, have generated close to a half a billion dollars in all caps. That's billion with a B. I am looking to do that in one year. Oh, I thought he was saying he already did that. He's looking to do that. All right, Cody, let's see what you got, buddy. Professional grade lighting. Let's see what you get. This is the industry. Let's see what you got, Cody. John, I sent you a DM. Not what I was expecting Cody to look like. I, I, I like the look though, Cody. Let's go. I'm about the profit. Did you say the profit? Hold on, rewind a minute. I want to show you a little bit. This is my office. Wait. I want to show you. I sent you a DM about the profit. Sent me a DM about the profit. <laughs> this is this is John Sarasani. He's the partner. No, it's not a ripoff. I want to show you a little bit. This is my office. Chaotic, it always is. Um, this is my little entrance to the office. Um, purchasing, buying, all that good stuff. Let's go to the other side. There's the core values. I like the core values on the wall. I like that shit a lot. Wrong code. I used to have core value posters all over Our my offices. Office. Bam, lights off code, yeah. Let's go. This is a mess, we're redesigning stuff. This is the sales facility. That's me. The flashlight. It's got a lot of office space and no employees in there. <laughs> Downstairs, I got a full on media team, marketing, um, web design, photography studio, video studio, all the nine yards. Uh, my little old flashlight company. That's what this is all for Kodiak Lighting. That's one of our brands. You can find it in over 100,000 stores. Flashlights, final so nationwide. Uh, all Walmarts in the country. Um, big lots. True value, Ace Hardware. All right, so I would have flexed that immediately, Cody. 100,000 retail locations, you sell flashlights, and you just, what did you say, Walmart, Big Lots? I mean, that's 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 huge. Trying to figure out what he's gonna need me for, but let's keep going. All over the place. Anyways, I wanna scale. So, that's what I'm shooting this email. I wanna get huge, and we have what we need to get there. I just need a little help in scaling the business. So anyways, I'm sending you this. Um, hopefully you'll consider me. If not, that's cool too. I'm busy, I'm doing stuff, but I'm in your backyard too, so we should get together. Let's do it. All right, I'm this for Menards. Let's go. <laughs> he fucking flexes Menards at the end too. I gotta say, I fucking love this guy. I, I, I gotta say, I, I, I love this guy, but uh, I have no idea how the hell I would be able to help him if he's already in Menards, Big Lots, Walmart, but I know the only way I could help him is by get, putting money into his business. And um, let's bring him in. Here's a, let's see what Cody has to say in person. All right, next we got Patrick Perillo and he should partner with me, he says, because he's interested in partnering to promote Ecom Golf Brand. Tell story of getting out of the W2 world. Just two days ago, 
and selling a seven-figure business on the side while at his W-2 job where he was making 300 grand. It could be an interesting story, John, for your platform. A case study, John, a case study. So he was making 300 grand as a W-2. As a side hustle, he sold a company for seven figures. It sounds like he quit his job because he used past tense I was making. Um, I hope he has a plan. I do not recommend quitting $300,000 a year jobs uh, without any plan. Okay? Let's see what you got, Patrick. Hey, John. Pat Perillo here. Reaching out as you're always talking about getting out of that W-2 world. Well, guess what? Two days ago. Two days ago. Got out of the W-2 world. Got out of the corporate world. I did corporate sales for 14 years. And it was enough, man. So I'm living what you're talking about. Here's a quick story for you. It was during the pandemic. I had a little more free time, right? Not going out, not doing much. And I started a side hustle. I started selling products online. That took off. I ended up uh, doing that for a couple of years. I ended up selling that to a private equity firm in Germany for seven figures, but I kept my day job, okay? When I left just recently, I was making 300K. I got the W-2, I know you don't like W-2s, but I got the W-2 to prove that. And I'm giving that all up, man. Get rid of that. It's go time. We're going full-time entrepreneurship. I'm excited. This is aligned exactly to what you speak to every single day. Don't be brainwashed. Let's get out. Let's live our life. Let's do our own thing. And I think together you and I can do some awesome stuff because I'm living that story now that you've been talking about for all this time. So let's go, man. Let's make some cool stuff happen. All right. So this actually makes a lot of sense here. So now that I watched the video, he's making 300 grand. He sold his side business for seven figures. Now he's got some wiggle room. Screw my, screw my W-2. I'm gonna go out and make make sure my passions uh, go full time here because he's got that cushion to do it. I love that story, Patrick. I love that you're, you're you're taking the leap, and I love you did it the right way. You're not gonna be living in a damn car eating ramen noodles during this process. You're building shit up, and you got a nest egg to do it. Good work. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna be able to help you with in a golf e-commerce business, but uh, let's put Patrick as a big uh, as a big maybe right now. I think. All right. Next, we got Richie Tash. He's looking to start a liquidation company or <laughs> and or an internet pawn shop, buy, sell, and beyond to make accessible to anyone around the world. His goal is to work with John for the experience and at the very least go under my wing to learn more about the outside world other than what I'm used to. I want to step out of my comfort zone and absorb as much knowledge as possible. Also, fuck. I played, he goes, he goes, also, also, fuck playing 25 minimum, minimum tables of blackjack. I'm trying to get in the high limit room, motherfucker. All right, so he obviously watches my Instagram. Uh, a pawn shop guy that is a, uh, apparently a degenerate gambler. I mean, uh, here we go. Yeah, I'll partner with you. I'm just kidding. Let's see what you have to say, buddy. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Richie Tash. About five minutes after receiving that email requesting a video response, I literally just walked in the door, checked my phone, and seen the email. I still got the dirty work flannel on, the safety goggles, and the boots on my feet. Why I think you should pick me? Well, I'll be honest with you. This is my fifth time recording this fucking video. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I'm currently a production supervisor at a company called R Dog Group. Been there for about three years. And before that, I had, uh, you know, my hand in the game in the pawn industry for a little bit. Um, bought a bunch of liquidation pouts, buy, sell, hold, buy, sell, beyond, whatever. Anything to make a couple dollars. I've been a salary employee for the last seven years. I started at the bottom, worked my way up. I'm not at the fucking top, but I've rubbed enough shoulders with those guys. Um, well, anyway... I'm just looking to go under somebody's wing, learn the ropes a little bit. I don't got to be fucking Ali overnight, but I would like to just soak up all the knowledge I could get. But hopefully you guys see this video, you see a little something in me, and I uh, get a response. All right, take it easy. What up, man? I do see something in it, brother. I, I just got to figure out what we would do together is the thing with uh, with guys like this. You know, he has a background in the pawn and liquidation industry, which is... It will make a lot of money in there. I, I got to tell you, though, for my brand, I, I don't think it goes with what I'm trying to do. I, I don't 
disrespect people that are in there. I don't think it kind of, it's kind of a little bit of a, you know, some shady elements to that industry that I probably wouldn't want to be participating in, unfortunately. Um, not, I'm not saying illegal. I'm just saying a little shady how deals get done, trying to rip off people for the lowest margin and turn around and sell it. It's kind of like used car sales. I just, certain industries I want to stay away from. Um, however, Richie, I would say to you, man, stay in touch with me on social media, buddy, because uh, you're the kind of guy I'd want on my team. Go get her. But um, I, don't, I don't think I got an idea for us immediately. And by the way, this goes to show how vague I was on this ad. It was on purpose. I don't know what I'm looking for, but when I see it, oh, that's what I was looking for. Got it. So I think Richie's going to be a no. All right, we got Mike. I'm not even going try, to try to pronounce his name. Giamma Rusko, it looks like. Uh-oh, here we go. Rumusko or Rusko. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Something Italian. Uh, let's see here. Rusko Brothers, home builders, looking to build another house and have 3D renderings done to help sell the house. It's in construction. Take the profits. Invest in another property. Invest. He, he just says that once. Already engineered uh, four, for nine four-unit townhomes. So I want to scale quickly. Goal is to be the next Lennar, Pulte, or Toll Brothers home builder. God bless, brother. Love it. I'm going to watch this video, but I'm going to tell you right now, even before watching the video, I'm only telling you this so you're not taking it personal. Don't even know you. Don't know anything about you. Um, this is not a business that I want to get into, okay? I, I lived it in, in the early 2000s and saw people flying off that ski lift, putting all their money in, keep rolling the money, keep rolling the money, keep rolling the money, and then 2008 happens. Everything you just been working your ass for, gone, okay? It's not a business I need to be in to make money. So I'm not gonna be in that business. I got it, I get it. Well, you're a fucking idiot then, John. Well, fuck you, that's fine. I, I, I have the power not to have to do that. Donald Trump's in real estate, I get it. But let's watch the video. Maybe you'll change my mind. Hey, John, my name is Mike Jamarusco. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, could really use your help. Uh, I am stuck in a dead end job and not happy where I am and I want to pursue my lifelong dream of being a home builder. Um, I built my own home in Algonquin um, from the ground up by myself. My brother helped a little bit, but uh, it was for my family. I've got a wife, got three kids. Um, been working for a non-wovens company now for like 13 years and it's nice, it's fun, but it's not what I want to do. I wake up every morning not wanting to go to work, and I want to move this passion of mine of being a home builder forward. I love this guy's candor. I love his honesty. He built his own home for, for his family in Algonquin. Freaking awesome. Um, you know, it's very similar to what I see other people in real estate, though. They get ahead of their skis a little bit. They want to just keep going and going before they even have, have this. Um, it works out for some people, but sometimes you get left holding the bag and it doesn't work out. Um, he also doesn't do this for his full-time career right now. And I would just have to venture to guess that he doesn't know what he doesn't know yet at this point. And whatever investor goes with him down this journey, this first go-around, uh, is gonna learn it with him. And that's that's a problem, right? Um, like this guy though a lot, this is just not a business that I wanna get into. All right, Brian Swift. I actually know who Brian Swift is. He interviewed me on his radio show. He's out in the South Suburbs, has an AM radio show. And uh, I gotta tell you, Brian also has an Instagram page called, or TikTok page, I believe, called the, the, the Quad Father, because he's quadriplegic. And uh, he, him and I were put in touch because he knew I was a, um, I played football at Notre Dame, and I guess he's a big Notre Dame fan. And I'm not really sure what business he would, from what I know about him, I don't know what kind of business he would have that he'd be looking for me to be a part of, but um, let's find out. Hello, John. The reason I should be chosen as your partner is I bring certain characteristics that you don't find in people today. I'm cut from a different cloth. I bring commitment, integrity, attitude, 
And more importantly, I bring grit. I graduated from St. Xavier University. Then I went on to DePaul College of Law and graduated three and a half years after that. I have over 20 years of corporate experience in marketing, sales, and management. I have 15 more years of successful entrepreneurship. I also have authored eight books. I have a YouTube channel that's growing and a podcast that's growing. I have going into my third year on my own radio show called All Things Inspirational. Thank you. Hello, John. The so I'm going to go ahead and back and look here at Hello, his uh, the submission here because I want to see why he put I should partner with him. He wrote, looking for the opportunity to partner on growing our nonprofit, which would benefit the largest, most diverse minority in the country, the physically disabled, the high cost and lack of availability of adaptive equipment, transportation, and accessible facilities present a significant barrier to participation in physical outdoor activity for people with disabilities. Um, not really exactly what I was looking for with this uh, program, but I'll tell you what, my mom had multiple sclerosis and uh, she's not with us anymore. But, you know, I, I remember when I was, gosh, I was probably about younger 30s, I was making money, and my dad was still like helping my mom up the stairs every night at the house we grew up in, like carry her, and they're getting older and stuff. So I've spent money to put in the damn chair that goes up the stairwell. And, uh, It was expensive. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, shouldn't Medicare or Medicaid or something with the government like cover this for people that can't afford it? And the answer is that it doesn't. So I could see um, what Brian's trying to do here. And he's, I, just, I could just speak to my mom and he's, he's got it worse than my mom, he's quadriplegic. Um, so I think what we'll do is, we'll, we'll, I think we're gonna bring Brian in for him to kind of explain what he's really looking at it. If nothing else, maybe I just, become a board member for his nonprofit or something like that. I don't, I don't know if he's really presented anything specific here. So we'll put Brian as somebody that'll come in for sure. Left that big job in my twenties to become an entrepreneur. Everyone said I would fail, but I got winner in my core. So my company need a private equity and the money poured. I got millions times galore. Not bad for a kid from Schomburg, right? 2,000% raise, 2,000% raise, 2,000% raise, 2,000 percent raise. Uh -huh. 2, Self-made, ball and filthy paid, gave myself a raise, left the naysayers amazed. When I went up, 2,000%, 2,000% uh -huh. raise, 2,000% raise, 2,000% raise, 2,000%. Self-made, ball and filthy paid, gave myself.